up, peeps? It is Sunday night, and this has been a very good weekend. I've gotten some work done, gotten some exercise. Yesterday, Derpy Hooves got a speaking role, which was one of the greatest moments of my life. Uh, I have been able to uh, take some time to work on my art, doing some paintings, little paintings, big paintings, really big paintings that I'm really ever in my head on. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing like anatomical studies and stuff. I'm actually trying to be a real artiste, drawing naked people. Cause that's what artists do, right? The whole reason they're doing the whole thing is just to draw some naked people. <clears throat> uh, got to sleep pretty much most of yesterday, which was good, because uh, there was no football on anyway. Uh, completely ignored the football on today, because honestly, I don't give a crap about the friggin' uh, Patriots and Niners and screw all those teams. Uh... I'm basically waiting a month from now, pitchers and catchers report, that's all I care about. But the best thing about this weekend, the first product of 2012 is live. Fungo cards. This is a pack of custom made homebrew cards from Fungo, who is at fungo.blogspot.com, go check them out. He is a Philly fan, and while I am a Braves fan, pretty much my entire family on my mom's side is from uh, Pennsylvania somewhere. Uh, that's pretty much why I drink Yingling. Uh, I mean, I've got family members who have worked at the Yingling plant. Uh, and honestly, Pennsylvania beer is best beer. Uh, I just had my first Iron City a couple of weeks ago, and that shit was fantastic. I mean, it's actually better in England. If I could find it, I'd probably drink it, but that stuff is good. Um, so, you know, yay for, for Pennsylvania. Even though the Phillies keep kicking the crap out of the Braves, um, I still have a soft spot for them. Uh, and the beer helps. You know, every time the... the Phillies completely embarrass us. I can just down a case of yingling and feel good about myself for a while. So I'm okay with Philadelphia uh, and the fungos. Uh, New York, that's different. All, I, all my in-laws are pretty much Mets fans, so it's fun to just mess with them. And every time I go up there, I have a 1995 World Series championship sweatshirt, and I, I, I make sure to wear it just, just to screw with them. Of course, they have one up on us because uh, the Mets have technically gotten their asses kicked by the Yankees more recently than the Braves uh, have in the World Series. But still, you know, our last championship is 95. Their last is 86. That's, that's a good nine years on them. So I can still mess with the Mets. But Phillies are okay. And this is the first product of... 2012, and it's a bootleg product, homebrew, DIY, screw the man, F corporations, I'm not buying wax this year anyway, so this is probably the only 2012 pack you're going to see me open on my YouTube's channel, at least until SOPA comes and fucks it all up, so let's enjoy this pack from Paul Ember. Fungo, and check this out, he's got Ziggy on his return address label, and that I respect, because I am a man who loves his cartoons and loves his comic strips, and Ziggy is one of the most reviled comics out there, and if, if he likes Ziggy, I mean, shit, I love ponies, so I can't say nothing. That man loves his Ziggy enough to put it on his packages. Good for you, man. Like what you like. First pack of the year. Fungo cards. Tommy Hansen. 
Atlanta Braves. Winston Churchill. Oh, yeah. Statesman from England. I am not going to do a Winston Churchill impression because I... Quite frankly, I am funk as drunk right now. Uh, uh, my wife gave me a beer at dinner, and I really haven't looked back since. That's why I'm doing this video right now, instead of cowering in fear. Uh, so, not going to do a Winston Churchill impression in this state. Bryce Harper, I hate him. If anybody wants this, just... Well, don't... Don't PM me on YouTube because I have not checked a single message on YouTube. Basically, the only reason I have a, a channel on YouTube is to put up these stupid videos about products that don't even exist. And so I can uh, subscribe to artists who do My Little Pony techno music. Um, I don't read any of the comments. I don't subscribe to other people who leave a comment and say, please subscribe, dude. Uh, I don't be friends with anybody. Uh, I, I don't like social networks. I don't like any of that. If you want this card, go to my blog and beg me for it, because I hate Bryce Harper with a passion. Oh, and here's another good one. Insert card, number 41, Tom Seaver. Number retired, 1998 from the New York Mets. I have this deal with Tom Seaver. If anyone knows, the Atlanta Braves actually signed Tom Seaver back in the 60s. He should have been a Brave, but friggin' Bowie Kuhn, uh, the commissioner of baseball, screwed us over and said, no, you didn't sign him properly, so he's back in the draft. You don't get him. And Tom Seaver could have been a Brave, but because of Bowie Kuhn, who was a Hall of Famer, for being a goddamn moron. Because of him, Tom Seaver is a Met instead of a Brave. F everything about that. I hate you all. Damn it. Tom Seaver's a good player, though. He's good. Jeff Francoeur, mini black OPT card. And uh, Francoeur is, is another one of those sore subjects. Because if he had just freaking tried at all in his career with the Braves, he would still be a Brave. He didn't whine and bitch and moan when we sent him down to the minors when he was, wasn't even hitting his weight, and he's kind of skinny. It's not like me. If I don't hit my weight, that's, you know, shoot. I can be 30 points under my weight and be a Hall of Famer. Jeff Francoeur, no. And don't talk about OB on base percentage isn't up on the scoreboard when it's right there. You know, now he's doing okay. Where is he with? Uh, Royals? All right. He's, he's doing all right for the Royals. That's cool. Brian McCann, sweet spot card. And god damn, I miss upper deck. Does anybody else miss upper deck? Jesus Christ, I miss upper deck. I mean, a few years ago when it looked like upper deck was going to get the uh, exclusive license, I was pissed because I love, I'm a tops collector. I love tops. I'm always going to collect tops. Now, damn, I miss Upper Deck. And they're probably not coming back. Panini's going to get the other license, and it's going to be a disaster. Which is why this is going to be the only 2012 product I break this year because I'm done with that crap. I'm buying vintage. Speaking of vintage, Eric Anthony and Ed Whited... Uh, 1990 NL West Rookie Stars. This is from uh, probably Baseball Cards Magazine. And it is in the style of 1969 Tops. Uh, and the cards are cool, but the magazine... Okay, let's try this again. I think we're low on battery, which sucks. Uh... We back. Okay. Uh, sometime uh, after I was bitching about Tom Seaver, uh, but the batteries went out on my camera. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll go back over. Uh, Brian McCann, sweet spot. Um, 
Love Mac. Sweet Spot, not so much. But hey, cool. Uh, 1969 tops. Uh, NL West rookie stars Eric Anthony and Ed Whited from uh, Baseball Cards Magazine, probably, or possibly Tops Magazine. I think they came out in 2000. Nope, copyright 1990 Baseball Cards Magazine. So you can pick up one of these. It's a great old reference. Just just to check out the ads to uh, see, see the prices on some of the stuff in uh, the old ads is just fantastic. I mean, you can get... Uh, I got one magazine where you can buy 1991 uh, Stadium Club sets for like 250 bucks. <laughs> you can buy every set in existence for that much right now. Okay, let's let's get on with the Fungo Pack. Uh, top Stars Warren Spawn. Next is uh, Vintage 1958 Tops Marv Griffin. I'm sorry, Marv Grissom, number 399, with a SF Giants airbrush logo on there. 1954 tops. Can you get a 1954 tops and that tops crap you're going to buy in, a, in less than a month when it starts hitting the uh, Targets and the Walmarts two weeks before it hits any of the uh, hobby shops that desperately need to sell that product to survive? No, you're not going to find a 54 tops. Except in maybe those stupid transmogrifier redemption codes. But even then, you can put in a thousand of those and not get a 54. But I got a 1954 Ray Murray, number 45, 49. Check that out. Fungo Packs. Fungo.blogspot.com. Check them out. And the last card in the pack, Brian McCann. Two freaking McCann cards in one pack. Can you believe it? That's awesome. Uh-oh. There's an insert. What is this? It is nothing. <laughs> well, this sucks. I just read Night Owl's uh, report on his fungo pack, and he got an instant uh, redemption code. And he got all this cool stuff, like a Sammy Hagar record and old newspapers and stuff. And I got piece of paper. Of course, last year I got a 10, uh, or maybe the year before. Fungo's been doing this for like five years, four or five years. Four? I don't know. He's been doing it for a while. And uh, one year I got a Chipper Jones 10 with a bunch of stuff in it. But uh, this year in the package, I got another little bonus. I guess these weren't going to fit in the main pack. We have a 1999 Greg Maddox large size card, which I already have. We have a 1994 Fleer Game Breaker Greg, Greg Maddox uh, insert card, which is kind of cute. And a couple more vintagey stuff. 1958 tops, Gene Woodling, number 398 and 399. Look at that. And finally, 1960 tops, Art Cicciarelli, Chicago Cubs pitcher. Art was the first lefty to shut out the Dodgers in three years. So, there's Fungo 2012, new design. If I can find one. No, I'm not going to use Bryce Harper. Friggin' does. New design, insert cards, homebrew, F the man. Tops isn't going to give us what we want. We'll make it ourselves. Music by Dead Mouse, his essential mix. If you can even hear that because it's playing over my earbuds because, as you can see, my speakers aren't working on my laptop right now. Uh, Bravery through Evan Williams and Art from Ponies. 
Bye-bye.